Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm having a little look at a preview of a game called Terror of Hemosaurus. This is on Steam and there's a demo available if you want to try it out as well. So I haven't written my notes out, I'm just going to freestyle based on my experience. So like what is the game like? Well you play as a large creature, sort of like a sort of a cartoony Godzilla. It's a little bit reminiscent of an old arcade game called Rampage. Your characters, you can jump, climb up buildings, eat little civilians, destroy the buildings themselves, kick people, kick cars, grab stuff, throw it around, or even do like an atomic butt slam when you jump off the top of a building. So the aim of the game is you go into a level and you've got to destroy as much as you can. At the end of the level, it shows you the percentage of destruction, how many fatalities you got, and the financial impact of the damage. So it's got that very cartoony kind of pixelated retro style, very colorful, kind of quirky music, but in terms of gameplay, it's really quite entertaining, very cool, very fun. Like you just walk through this sort of little mini city and you punch the hell out of a building. Now, one thing about those buildings and when you damage them, that's really cool is the kind of physics element. Like if you go to a building and you start punching like the bottom left hand side of it, for example, you punch that enough, the whole building will start to sway and lean in that direction. And then if you do it enough, that will collapse and potentially fall on another building. And it really does kind of create a lot of carnage. And you know, when you start kicking cars into buildings, they explode. It's really quite entertaining. I, I, it's quite a short demo, but it's it's good fun. You can play single player, which I did, but it can. I think you can play four local co-ops. So yeah. Looking at the footage, it looks like a lot of fun and it is a lot of fun to play. Like I said, the demo is relatively over quite quickly, but I would say this is a game that I'll probably try out when it does fully release because it's got that kind of cool old school feel, but with a nice modern sense of controls and yeah. It's from a developer that I do like their previous work, so it's one I would recommend having a look at the demo, see what you think. Um, I'll end this video with some gameplay just so you can have a look and listen to see what it's like. So enjoy the rest of the video and I will chat to you next time. This is Photography Gamer signing off. Thank you.